1994, only Carnation non-fat milk. And Whisper Feminine Protection, trusted by the world's most beautiful women. In cooperation with Colgate Minterins for all-day fresh breath energy. Kodak Gold, the official film of the 1994 Miss Universe pageant. And Nescafe Cappuccino, and also brought to you by Sistagen Premium. Imo, the only eye drop for daily use. PNB and Magnolia Ice Cream. Oh 
is presented in cooperation with Colgate Minter Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host for tonight, Martin and Ma. Yes! <laughs> Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Good evening, Philippines! Welcome to Miss Universe Mabuhay. Finally, the Miss Universe season is officially opened. That's right. Alam niyo po, it's been 20 years, of course, since the Philippines last hosted the Miss Universe pageant. And I think I speak for all the Filipinos that next to Christmas and next to all the other fiestas combined, uh -huh. this is the most exciting event for this year. Uh -huh. Diba? Yes. I think so. Imagine 600 million people from 60 different countries. And their families. And their families. <laughs> <laughs> Nakatitig lang ngayon sa Pilipinas. Di ba nakaka-tense yun? Siyempre, it's very tenseful, very <laughs> nerve-wracking. Tonight, for the very first time, we will meet the most beautiful women on the planet. Definitely. And then, next week on the 15th, we will find out who will make it to the finals and who will not. But guess what? what? The world is excited, but the Philippines is thrilled to death. You know why? Why? Because these 77 beautiful women will be spending one full month here in the Philippines. <gasps> And the mm. whole country, not just Manila, will be playing as host, including, of course, Dakak, Cebu, and Davao. That's right. And after we meet them tonight and get to know them, as I said before, next week we will find out the 15th at the PICC who will and who will not make it to the coronation night on May 21 at the PICC, live and direct to the whole world. <laughs> teka muna, teka muna. Parang... Napapansin ko yata, uh, alam na alam mo yata yung schedule ng mga girls. <laughs> You've noticed? Well, I, I've been following them, kind of. Like a fan would. Oh, okay. More of a okay. Chance, fan chance. idol type thing. Chance yan. Dahil bihira lang pumunta dito ang Miss Universe. Eh. Chance yan. <laughs> Pero since you seem to know it all, Mr. Know-it-all. Yes? Can you please tell us exactly what's up for tonight? Okay. Tonight, we meet them, right? Are you excited for this, people? I am. And then very. we will see them in their national costumes, and then we will dress them up in the most beautiful Philippine ternos. Then we will be giving away some special awards, award them for their, for their, 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 their national costumes, as well as the Filipino ternos, and some special awards we'll be giving special away. Awards. Yes, that all happens tonight with the most beautiful 77, no, 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 I'm sorry, 78 of the most, huh? Thank 78 you, of the like most that. beautiful women I in the world. I think that's the best thing you've said so far Thank tonight. you so much. Thank 78. <laughs> Pero alam mo, you're still forgetting one more beauty. Actually, 79 kami. 79? 79 Why, kami. thank you. Oh, no, not me? Not you, I'm sorry. I'm missing somebody. Am I missing somebody here? Kasi yung nakalimutan mong bilangin, she's also a beauty queen, but she's not part of the Miss Universe delegate. But she is joining us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Binibining Pilipinas 1993, Miss Rupa Gutierrez. Thank you very much, Pops and Martin. 
natin. Coronation night is still 14 days away. Pero ang atmosphere dito ngayong gabi sa Araneta Coliseum ay parang ngayong gabi na pipiliin ng bago Miss Universe. Grabe. 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 And grabe. Super duper, you know. <laughs> Alam ko, Rufa, you're used to, of course, nights like this. Can you please tell us exactly what happens during an opening night? Well, una muna for the audience, now is their chance para pumili ng mga girls na kakampihan. Para pagdating sa coronation night, sa May 21, alam na nila the girls to bet on. And as for the girls, it's like one big international acquaintance party. A chance for them to get settled to the place and the pageant. Oo nga naman. Alam nyo ba, for your information, that some of the girls here flew as near as Hong Kong, which is okay. about an hour and a half away, That's of course. Near. But the other girls traveled as far as Puerto Rico. You know that Miss Puerto Rico actually stayed on air for 48 hours? Wow! Wow! 48 hours. That's like going to Manila, back to Baguio, mga 32 times. You know why they're clapping? is because they can relate. They spend the same amount of time in traffic here in the Philippines. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> they know how it feels. Well, it's well alam mo, kahit gano pa sila kalayo na karating, mm -hmm. or kahit gano sila katagal para bumiyahe dito, uh -huh. ang importante, nandito silang lahat, and they're ready to meet us Filipinos. That's right. So why don't we start to meet them now? Yes, okay? I think we should stop just talking about them. Ipakilala na natin ang 77 Miss Universe Delegates. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Wearing, of course, their national costumes in the traditional parade of nations. Let's start off with the girls from the island. Come on! Miss Guam! Miss Aruba! Miss Dominican Republic! Miss Trinidad Tobago! Hola, mi nombre es Yasmin Morales and I come from the natural paradise of the world, Costa Rica! <laughs> Miss USA! Celebrating the 25th anniversary of the moonwalk, I'm Lou Parker from the USA! Miss Guatemala! Buenas noches, from Guatemala, the land of eternal spring, I'm Katia Schoenstedt! Miss Panama! Mahal Goan, Philippines! I am Maria Sofia from Panama! Miss El Salvador! Buenas noches, the country of the smiles is my home. From El Salvador, I am Claudia Mendez! Miss Honduras! Hola, my name is Jem Haylock and I come from the island of Guanaja, Honduras! Miss Canada! Hello, my name is Suzanne Rafas and I represent the country of many nations, Canada! Miss Mexico! Hola! Arriba Chihuahua! Viva Mexico! And the ladies of Europe and the British Isles. <laughs> Miss Norway. Buklal. I'm Carolina Sanzer from the home of the Olympics, Norway. Miss Switzerland. 
I'm Patricia Fessler and I come from the paradise of Europe, Switzerland! Miss Portugal! Hola, I am Monica Pereira from the European capital of culture, Portugal! Miss Sweden! I'm Dominique Forsberg from the land of the midnight sun, here in Alaplan, Sweden! Miss Slovak Republic! Príjemný dobrý večer, I'm Sylvia Lakatošová and I come from a new Slovak Republic. Miss Great Britain! Hello, I'm Michaela Pike and I'm from the historic Kent district of Great Britain. Miss Denmark. So after my name is Gita Anderson and I come from the land of Little Mermaid, Denmark. Miss Ireland. This is from Ireland, the land of saints and scholars. My name is Pamela Flood. Miss Luxembourg. My name is Hello, I'm Sandy Wagner. I'm from Luxembourg City, Luxembourg. Miss France. Bonsoir, my name is Valérie Kles. I come from the Loire Valley of France. Miss Estonia. Good afternoon, and hello. My name is Eva Maria Lahn, and I come from the Polish country of Estonia. Miss Belgium. Bonsoir, my name is Crystal, and I come from the capital of the common market, Belgium. Miss Germany. Good night. From Germany, the land of castles and magic, I am Tanya Wills. Miss Poland. Vitam Wszystkich, my name is Joanna Brzezinska, I am from the land of Chopin, Poland. Miss Hungary. Okay, my name is Silvia Furian, land of the Blue Danube, Hungary. Miss Finland. Hey, I come from the land of Santa Claus, I'm Hannah Maryland, and from Finland. Miss Iceland. Hello, my name is Malak. And I'm representing Iceland. Miss Bulgaria. I'm the Ben Marino from the country of the Black Sea, Bulgaria. Miss Romania. representing Romania. Miss Russia. Hi, I'm Ina Zova and presenting here the land of strong people, Russia. Miss Netherlands. Hello from Leiden. The land of the windmills, I am Irene from the last. And the delegates from the Middle East and Africa. Yeah. Miss Italy. Buonasera from Roma, the Italian city of Italy. I'm Ariana David. Miss Spain. Hello. I'm from Cordoba, Spain, the land of flamenco. I am Raquel Rodriguez. Miss Republic of Malta. I'm Paula Camilleri from the Mediterranean paradise island of Malta. Miss Cyprus. Yes, my name is Maria Vasiliu and I come from the island of love and beauty, Cyprus. Miss Turkey. Merhaba, from Turkey, the bridge to Europe and Asia. I am Van Uslar. Miss Swaziland! Sabona, I am Nicholas Smith representing the Mountain Kingdom of Swaziland! Miss Israel! I'm from Israel, a land of sun and holy places. My name is Rovito Alconi. Miss Greece! Yes, I'm from Riyadh Tunzi representing the home of the ancient gods, Greece! Miss Nigeria! Ruby Williams, Susan Hartman representing the giants of Africa, Nigeria! Miss Namibia! My name is Barbara Kachipara. I represent the smile of Africa, Namibia. Miss Zimbabwe. I'm Yvette Kameda Chakras, and I'm from the home of Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe. Miss Egypt. Okay. I am, I am Raydan Salem from, from the land of Pharaohs, Egypt. The Senoritas of South America. Miss Uruguay. Buenas noches. Mi nombre es Leonora Di Bueno. I come from Montevideo, Uruguay. Miss Paraguay. Hola, I'm Liliana González. I'm from the land of Ñandutí, Asunción, Paraguay. Miss Chile. Hola, my name is Constanza Valvieri. I represent Chile. Miss Peru. Hola, I am Karina Calmet from the land of Incas, Lima, Peru. Miss Colombia. Hola, I'm Carolina Gomez Correa and I come from the land of passion and emeralds, Colombia. Miss Ecuador. Hola, from the Galapagos Island country, Ecuador. I am Mafalda Arboleda. Miss Bolivia.
Bolivia. Hola, I am Cecilia O'Connor and I come from the heart of South America, Tarija, Bolivia. Miss Brazil. Hi, I'm Valeria Ferris from Brazil, the land of the samba. Miss Argentina. Hola, I am Solan Mañano from the land of the Pampas, Argentina. Miss Venezuela. Hola, amigos del universo. My name is Minorca Mercado. I am from Caracas, Venezuela. And now our neighbors from Asia and the lands down under. Thailand. Madika, representing the Kingdom of Thailand, I'm Aria Chumtai. Miss Australia! Hello, from Australia, the largest island and smallest continent, I am Michelle Van Heimeren. Miss Hong Kong! Baga Ho, my name is Hoya Mok and I'm from the Pearl of the East, Hong Kong. Miss New Zealand! Kia from Clean Green, New Zealand, my name is Nicola Brighty. Miss Taiwan, Republic of China. Ning Hao. Hello, I'm Zhong Jing Wu. I come from Taiwan, the Republic of China. Miss Singapore. Hi, I'm Pauline Sun from the sunny island city of Singapore. Miss Korea. I'm Miss Japan. From the tranquil Shikoku Island of Japan. My name is Jackie Kawahito. Miss Malaysia. Namaste Jatra. My name is Lisa Ko. I come from the land of the humble birds, Malaysia. Miss India. Namaste. I'm Sushmita Sen from a country where love is the essence of life. India. Miss Sri Lanka. Hi, everyone. I'm Michelle Fernando, proudly representing the Pearl of the Indian Ocean, Sri Lanka. And our very own Miss Philippines. I can't think of a more scenic route than these beautiful women right here. Pero para pala tayo nag-sighting. And of course, coming up next is a guided tour. We get to know more of the girls and where they came from beyond those quick hellos. All aboard the next trip around the world right here in Miss Universe Mabuhay. pagpapanood nyo ng Miss Universe, kumamiss out mo ang Parade of Nations. Naging parado na kasi ito ng pabonggahan. At dito ka nakakakita ng mga kakaiba at talagang incredible costumes. Gaya no kay Miss Paraguay of 1992, her costume was 9 feet and weighed 23 kilos. O kaya kay Miss Brazil of 1988, her costume was made of peacock feathers and metal. Pero alam nyo, ever since the pageant, the National Costumes Parade began in 1962 in the Miss Universe, Talagang matindi niya ang labanan. Etong flashback. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I would like to introduce beautiful young women around the world as we present the Miss Universe Parade of Nations. The National Costume Parade for the Miss Universe pageant is a big favorite around the world. Each year, it's very elaborate. It depends upon the costumes to arrive. The national costumes are chosen by the, the host countries themselves. Some years, they're extremely elaborate. Other years, they'll choose something that's very plain, but very, very beautiful. The National Costume Parade may be visually mesmerizing, but it says a lot more. Try compressing the history and culture of 77 countries in a few precious minutes on TV, and you get nothing short of marvelous. So something that the countries are very, very proud of. It represents a particular tradition, uh, and the women are very proud to wear it and represent the countries. The ladies 
is South America known for their Latin Carnival celebrations, usually donned costumes that are very colorful with feathers, metalworks, and gigantic headdresses, all bigger than life. Asia abounds in mystic introspection, breathlessly beautiful embroideries and exotic fabrics, inspired by the historic and traditional, reflective of the ancient images. Meanwhile, the Europeans dazzle in classical costumes that bespeak the continental heritage, majesty and centuries of European grace, like Miss Norway, who won last year in an antique dress that has been handed down from generation to generation. It's interesting, uh, you don't know what the judges are looking for. It's just like judging the universe contest. Some of the girls will bring huge costumes that are part of their Mardi Gras galas. Some of the girls will bring costumes that are very reflective of their ethnic background. Probably the simplest costume of, would come from the South Pacific or some of the island um, uh, nations. And it's generally a pareu and some sort of bra top. I can remember at one point uh, Miss Uruguay winning the, uh, the uh, best in costume. She was wearing a very typical, very tailored gaucho outfit, complete with the boots and the hat. The most complex costumes are really the ones with the large head pieces and the body pieces that are like construction items. They come with hundreds of things that have to be put together. For instance, in Bangkok, Miss Paraguay won that year. Her costume was very difficult to put together. But once it was put together, it was magnificent. One year, uh, Miss USA was wearing an elaborate adaptation of an American Indian costume. She was stuck onto the car. The zip curtain, she couldn't move. Now, the lowdown. Since the birth of the National Costume Parade in 1962, a total of 2,220 costumes have paraded in the pageant. 32 of them have earned for their wearers best national costume. The first. Ms. Yehudit Mazor of Israel. The last one to bag the plug is Miss Norway, 1993. Counting off, the countries that own the most number of national costume awards are Thailand, with two up the ladder are Israel, South Korea, Peru, and India, with three awards each. The top grocers, Brazil and Colombia, with four titles. Brazil, 1967, 1981, 1987, and 1989. Colombia's special years were 1968, 1985, 1990, and 1991. Viva! The sad thing, though, is the Philippines is still to win their very first national costume crown. The National Costume Parade, the Miss Universe pageant's way of showcasing the color and drama of 77 different cultures 77 different worlds in one festival of fabric and magic. There you have it, a little information for everybody. And here's another information. 20 years ago when Miss Universe 1974 was held in Manila, the rhythm of the city came from the hot dogs with their pervasive Manila sound. Yung bang ingay na kay sarap sa tenga. 20 years later, in 1994, Manila still swings to a similar beat. Just as draw, just as Pinoy, as the jeepney. Kaya lang ngayon, medyo hindi na yata tawag yung Manila sound. I think now it's called the ultra-electromagnetic pop. Yes. And of course, galing to dun sa mga experts ng pagbubura. Pagbubura ng record sales at pagbubura ng uh, pop music rules. That's right. Mga pare ko, ligay kong ibibigay sa inyo. V, erase your head! Sabi nila, ang Pinay daw, kahit saan lumaki o kahit saan background, talaga nagmumukha pa rin siyang dalagang Pilipina pag pinagsuot mo ng terno. Pero ba paano naman sa mga blonde and blue-eyed beauties? O kaya sa mga Afro beauties? Yan naman ay hindi chismis na nakakaintriga. Kaya abangan, our 1994 Miss Universe Delegates in our own terno.
Cesar Agua showing us an expertise of the Filipino romantic music. What we're about to show you right now is actually an obsession. The romance of the Filipino. Beautiful women dressed in ternos designed by the top couturiers of the country. Let's start off with Miss Argentina. Miss Argentina, Solange Magnano. With a head more active than her body, Solange would rather work her brains out on books than sweating it out in sports. Growing up in her dad's cattle farm, Solange would not join the country girl's herd. Instead, she attends to a cosmopolitan modeling and tourism career. With her toothsome smile, how can anyone cry for her? Miss Aruba, Alexandra Ochoa. Sandra is an aspiring architect whose dream is to build an environment-friendly modern home blended with accents of urban culture. While that dream house is still in a blueprint, Sandra teaches swimming to kids in Aruba's breathtaking waters that reflect not just blue, but all the rainbow colors. Islands Philippines welcomes Alexandra Ochoa, Miss Aruba. Miss Australia, Michelle Van Eimrin. Michelle is a dancer having studied ballet, classical jazz, and tap dancing. A lover of Thai food, an enthusiast into French art of decoupage and a degree holder of Japanese language. Some of the international feathers in her cap, which incidentally she's great at since she's an accomplished hat maker as well. Michelle Van Eimrin, Miss Australia. Miss Bahamas is Mika Knowles. Mika Knowles admits loving danger, like scuba diving in shark-infested waters. Whenever she's dry, Mika dances to the beat of Junkanu, Bahamas' unique festival. Mika comes from an all-girl family, but she takes on a man-sized goal, like campaigning against gang violence and honing on agriculture and marine biology. Miss Bahamas is Mika Knowles. Miss Belgium, Christelle Roiland. A doll-faced 19er, Christelle enjoys royal watching, particularly Belgian royalty. She is currently pursuing a public relations degree and is likewise intent on invading TV which she believes is an excellent medium to share the splendors of Belgium, from its great Renaissance painters to grand restaurants. That's Miss Belgium, Christelle Roiland. Miss Bolivia, Cecilia O'Connor, having a sister, who competed in Miss Universe in 1986, hardly eases the pressure on this blue-eyed blonde. Cecilia went to school in La Salle, not in Taft, but La Salle in Bolivia. An admirer of Mother Teresa and Mahatma Gandhi, I'd say she's got excellent taste in heroes, wouldn't you? Cecilia O'Connor, Miss Bolivia. Miss Brazil. Valeria Melo Peri. Valeria is a woman with two personas. One is a mature and civic-minded physical therapy student who does social work for the elderly and crusades against the destruction of the Amazon. And the other is a fun-loving Valeria who's into swimming and hitting the carnivals of Rio.
best of both worlds in Valeria Melo Peri, Miss Brazil. Miss British Virgin Islands is Delia John Baptist. When she lets her hair down covering her face, her friends call her Cousin It of the Adams Family. But she gets back to her own tricks. She once painted her sleeping friend's face with black shoe polish. That's Delia John Baptist, Miss British Virgin Islands. Miss Bulgaria, Nevena Marinova. Although she loves her modeling career, Nevena wants to earn an economics degree like her mom. She attributes her winning Miss Bulgaria to her knockout smile and two lucky charms, her chimpanzee and a heart-shaped pillow. To return the favor to her country, she plans to join her Nespinari, where people walk barefoot through fire. Nevena Marinova, Miss Bulgaria. Miss Canada is Suzanne Rathbus. Green-eyed, golden-brown-haired Suzanne grew up on a cattle farm in British Columbia. Her childhood is filled with memories of Family Day, an annual event in Canada, which celebrates heart and home. Suzanne's heroine is Audrey Hepburn, not only for her beauty, but also for her compassion and humanitarian efforts with UNICEF. That's Suzanne Rufus, Miss Canada. Miss Cayman Islands is Audrey Elizabeth Ebank. At 20, Audrey already works for her country's tourism department. She hopes her idol Oprah Winfrey could tour her homeland and witness her country's Pirates Week, a festival where pirates parade through the streets of Cayman Islands. A gem in the beautiful Caribbean, Audrey Elizabeth Ebank, Miss Cayman Islands. Miss Chile, Constanza Barbieri Sanz. 21-year-old Constanza is a picture of perfect balance between old and new, deeply traditional and religious. Constanza looks up to Pope John Paul II. Her cosmopolitan side delves into the, her fashion designing with an eye to the international market. Say hello to Constanza Barbieri Sanz, Miss Chile. Miss Colombia, Carolina Gomez Correa. Carolina describes her home as a land of beauty pageants with titles as unique as Miss Avocado. Nicknamed Pacha, she follows a health routine of high-impact aerobics, rock climbing, and a secret treatment of aloe vera for her skin. Reincarnation may be odd to you, but not to Pacha, who already experienced hypnotic regression. Carolina Gomez Correa, Miss Colombia. Miss Cook Islands is Leilani Brown. A 90s version of an island girl, Lani has been into the Cook Islands dances since the age of six. Her beauty routine, you ask? Well, it's swimming from the lagoon to the reef for 20 minutes, gathering her own lunch, consisting of sea eggs, seaweeds, and cat's eyes. A shellfish, by the way. Forever smiling, happy and friendly. That's how we describe Miss Cook Islands, Leilani Brown. Miss Costa Rica, Yasmin Morales Camacho. A Spanish philology major in love with three things. Literature, her dog of 10 years, and a boyfriend of seven years. Behind that beautiful face is a beauty secret, Yasmin's own papaya facial. 
Being able to speak only a little English hasn't stopped her from idolizing Beverly Hills 9210, Depeche Mode, and Kevin Costner. Yasmin Morales Camacho, Miss Costa Rica. Miss Curacao is Jasmine Clifton. Jasmine is nicknamed Mickey, after Mickey Mouse. Though she's no mouse, a gutsy journalist, Mickey handles the courtroom beat of her paper and dreams one day of her own TV production. As a child, Mickey had many pen pals all over the world. This must be where she picked up all her languages. Miss Curacao, Jasmine Clifton. Miss Cyprus, Maria Vasiliu. Born in the islands that legends claim as the birthplace of the beauty goddess Aphrodite, Maria is likewise the stuff of legend. At sea, Maria dives into the action as a scuba enthusiast. On air, she stayed at the cockpit all the way to Manila. She claims to know enough to fly the plane that will bring her home. Perhaps as Miss Universe? Maria Vasiliu, Miss Cyprus. Miss Denmark is Gida Andersen. Another multilingual beauty, Gida speaks Danish, English, German, Spanish, and French. Even before she won as Miss Denmark, Gida already backed gold honors in target shooting. Aside from that bullseye, she also gets her sights on drawing and painting. Gita Anderson, Miss Denmark. Miss Dominican Republic, Vielka Valenzuela Lama. Coming from a family of shoemakers, Vielka wishes to put up her own business, not in shoes, but in advertising. Oddly, 13 is her lucky number. Her house is number 13, and she was number 13 when she won her first beauty contest. So when given the number 13 in the local pageant, guess what? She won! Vielka Valenzuela Lama, Miss Dominican Republic. Miss Ecuador is Mafalda Arboleda, a fashion model who wants to be a journalist someday. Mafalda is into volleyball, weightlifting, and marathon phone calls with her boyfriend. Mafalda fell in love with Davao, which she considers the most beautiful place she has ever seen. You are most welcome, Mafalda Arboleda, Miss Ecuador. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about these lovely ladies? Are they the loveliest you've ever seen? But wait a minute, don't make your final list yet. This is just the first 20 girls. We still have 57 of the most beautiful girls in the world to meet when we come back here at the Miss Universe pageant 1994. I'm excited, and I'm sure all of you are excited too, and we're all dying to know Who's going to win for tonight? Remember those special awards? I'm excited and I'm, I'm sure they're all nervous too. Aren't you girls nervous? It doesn't show because they're so beautiful. They keep that lovely smile on their face all the time. We'll come back. Yes. You know, I can safely say that I can name at least two. Two Miss Universe uh, winners. Of course, Gloria Diaz and Margie Moran. But I'm sure a lot of people here will probably be able to, to name at least four in the time given us right now with Amparo, Amparo and of course uh, Dayanara. With four of them together is probably the most we could name. But there's someone in the audience who we could, we could consider the, uh, the consultant 
in this particular field. He can name all 42 winners. Please welcome on the show tonight, Mr. Butch Francisco. Hi, Butch. Hello, Martin. Good evening to everyone here at Arenet and ABS-CBN. Is it true? They say you are a, an, an expert in this field. Well, actually, I've been covering the television beat for a long time, and uh, Miss Universe is usually one of the biggest events on television worldwide. That's right, and we're happy to have it here on ABS-CBN Channel 2. Now, let's see. Let's see how. How many or how much you can give us in the small... Before we break for commercial, here's the first question. We will show you. He's an expert here. How many Miss Universe winners have had double initials? Hmm. Don't do this to me, Martin. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's start in 1962. Uh, Norma Nolan of Argentina. That's double N. Uh, in 1970, Marisol Malaret of Puerto Rico. That's double M. Uh, in 1973, how can we forget? Uh, Margarita Moran of the Philippines. Of course, that's triple M because she's Mar Maria Margarita Moran. Okay. And the last one, I guess, uh, Michelle McLean of Namibia in 1992. That's four. That's four? Yeah, that's so there are four? Yeah. Four of them. Very good. I bet you didn't know that. Are you taking notes, people? All right. Now, how did you, how did you end up being so, such a close observer of Miss Universe? As they said, uh, I've been covering the television beat uh, for uh, 10 years now. As long as you've... Uh, uh, we started together, Martin. I guess uh, I started in a different field. And uh, Miss Universe is usually uh, has the biggest production. Okay. Is this trivia? This is, the, this is the question that we've all been waiting for right now. How many people, how many times, pala, how many times were Fili Filipinas never, never beaten in the Miss Universe? Well, we have two Miss Universe winners. Uh, they're both here, Gloria Diaz and uh, Margie Moran. So no, no, cool. I'm sorry, I got you there. Thank God for the script. I got you there. I can count about, is it six? We can count, we counted six. Why six? Well, of course, Margie Moran, Gloria Diaz, they won. And, and the year, in the year, that, what year was that? 19, give me the year. Oh, I know. What is We're it? Referring to uh, yes. 1958, 59, to uh, 1961. Those were the years we didn't send entries to the Miss Universe. So that's six. Okay, so you got me there. <laughs> Just having fun here with Butch Francisco. I hope you learned something tonight. When we come back, more beautiful women right here on Miss Universe. Uh, okay, we're back. Martin? Yes, are you ready for this, Rufa? Yes, I am. We are still having fun here at the Araneta, Miss Universe 1994. I was talking to some members of the, of the audience. You know, Rufa, they, some of them would love to volunteer to judge yes. Miss Universe. And I think to be a good judge, you have to, be a good, you have, to have good judgment on beauty mm -hmm. and so forth. So, excuse me, sir. Butch, beside you. What is your name, sir? Karen. Kevin? Or Karen Pascal. Okay. You're going to, I'm going to ask you a question. Let's say that they wanted you to, you can stand up. Why don't you stand up? Make it easy for the cameraman here. If you were to be a judge, okay, let's say you were to take out one of the contestants, any of them, they don't have to say who she is, but if you were to take out one of them, where would you bring her and why? Mm, Burakai. Okay, why? Why? Because of the, uh, the sand. That's the nicest sand um, we have. They don't have sand anywhere else in the world, folks. Just in Boracay, <laughs> to yes. show her the sights, in other words. There we have beautiful beaches. Thank you very much. You have okay. one over there, Rufa? Yes, I have one over here. Um, <laughs> what is your description of a beautiful lady? And before that, can I have your name, please? I'm Herman. Can you stand up, please? I love your tie. Thank you. Okay, so what's your um, idea of a beautiful lady, and why? <clears throat> she has to be elegant. Mm -hmm. She has to be style. Uh, does she have to be a Filipina? No, not necessarily. Where are you from, sir? I'm from Austria. You're from Austria. Are you, are you enjoying your stay here? I do. Very much so. Really? Okay. Thank you very much. Martin. Okay. You, sir, stand up, please. What is your name, sir? Weston. Okay. Weston, like the hotel, Weston? Uh, so similar. <laughs> I could, uh, okay. Anyway, you're a judge. The girls are there. Would you go for the... With height, with, with being tall or being skinny or being short and being round, would that make a big difference for a beautiful woman, for a winner in Miss Universe? Uh, height, not so much, but uh, their figure. Figure? Yes. So the figure plays a very big role. Thank you so much, Weston. 
So we have, we have, I think we have good I judges have one in the audience. More. You have one more? Rupa has one Hi, more. Hi, sir. What's your name? Joey. Joey, can you please stand up? Okay, so what's your favorite part of the pageant? Yoon. The long gown competition, the swimsuit, the question and answer. Or this Which part. part? <laughs> or this part, yes, the terno. I would say the question and answer. Why is that so? Well, it's uh, sort of casual and spontaneous, so that's where the you know, witty uh, remarks come in. Really? Are you sure your favorite part is in the swimsuit competition? Mm. Maybe. Mm. <laughs> White lies, huh? <laughs> so question and answer portion. Okay, thank you very much. Very good answer. Question and answer so we can know more about the ladies and where they are as far as their opinions on life and the world and, and other matters. But what if we had a part in the show, or in the, in, as far as judging, the voice? Would that be possible? To actually hear the, them sing, well, we have the contestants, or we have the delegates right here. If we were to put Pops Fernandez, Sunshine Cruz, Agot Isidro, Carmina Villaruel, Aiko Melendez, and Geneva Cruz together, we would call them the beauty queens of Philippine cinema. with John Cuenco's beautiful flute sound. And who wouldn't fall in love with the next set of women in their beautiful ternos designed by some of the top fashion designers here in the Philippines as the terno parade continues. Let's start with Miss Egypt. Miss Egypt is Gada El Salem. Gada was raised in a family of professionals. Her siblings being doctors, lawyers, and engineers. Not to be outdone. Gada held the title of Miss Egypt for two years. She's what we might call a professional beauty titleist. That's a feat impressive enough for any pharaoh. Gada El Salem, Miss Egypt. Miss El Salvador is Claudia Mendez Cuellar. She helps out in her mom's little restaurant, but spends most of her time at her exclusive design studio. A communication student, Claudia constantly reads ecology and child development journals. But the most important thing she has read lately was a letter from her boyfriend. She received it at the Manila Hotel. Miss El Salvador, Claudia Mendez Cuellar. Miss Estonia, Eva Maria Lan. A model for three years now, Eva Maria has a simple formula for life. It's always more useful to smile than to cry. Estonian, English, and Finnish speaking Eva considers the Queen of Sweden as her model for elegance and intelligence. Revenge is always on her mind, the movie that is, one of her favorites. Eva Maria Lan, Miss Estonia. Miss Finland is Hannah Mary Leinen. Hannah considers being Miss Finland a full-time job. But she will always find time to tend to her pet rabbit, Doris. Hannah is proudest of the Finns' contribution to the world. The two Finnish Miss Universe winners, the sauna and Santa Claus. Hannah Merbilainen, Miss Finland. Miss France is Valerie Clace, a true blue Parisian, 22-year-old Valerie is a fashion model. She is hooked on reading American author John Steinbeck and idolizes Mother Teresa whom she sees as the model of love for unfortunate people. As an only child, Valerie is drawn to solo pursuits like walking near the sea. 
That's Valerie Clay's Miss France. Miss Germany is Tanya Wild. At age 21, Tanya is raring for a career as a pediatrician. Of course, she supports by door-to-door -door selling of cosmetics after school. Though academic life can be grueling, she always finds time for her essential, windsurfing in Italy, even if it's seven hours away. That's our perpetually tanned Tanya Bill, Miss Germany. Miss Great Britain is Michaela Pike. Michaela loves riding horses so much, she became a semi-professional show jumper. This despite knowing that her mom fell off a horse while seven months pregnant of her. This is probably why she's into the insurance business now, a rather stern profession which she balances with classical piano and violin. Miss Great Britain is Makayla Pike. Miss Greece is Rhea Tutunzi. This must be hard to imagine, but professional model Rhea once dyed her hair blue. Up there with intelligence and charm, she counts wit as a trait to aspire for. You want to know the first thing that Rhea packed in her suitcase? It was her teddy bear. That's for luck. Rhea Tutunzi, Miss Greece. Miss Guam is Christina Perez. Christina has a lot of Filipino friends and has actually modeled for a Filipino designer back in Guam. Christina claims to have three lives, managing a boutique seven days a week, knee boarding at the beach, and acting as couch potato with Duchess, her pet poodle. This year's Miss Guam, Christina Perez. Miss Guatemala is Katya Shunstead. One of the most bizarre experiences Katya has, a, has had as a fashion model was to catwalk in a flea market. But she sure doesn't mind doing something earthier, like carpeting their streets with sawdust, one of Guatemala's unusual Easter customs. She's interested in boys who can match her in weightlifting. Katya Shunset, Miss Guatemala. Miss Honduras, Jem Hala. This 23-year-old, Jem is no stereotype secretary. She water skis, plays soccer, and football. But this five foot, 10 inch super athlete dreams of nothing else but to become a registered nurse. She's found a new love here in the Philippines. It's Philippine mangoes. She swears they're the best in the world. Jem Hala, Miss Honduras. Miss Hong Kong is Hoyan Mok. A biology researcher, Hoyan could be one of the last Miss Hong Kongs as the colony reverts to China. A jolly person addicted to the karaoke. Hoyan nevertheless cried when she saw the movie Joy Luck Club. That's Hoyan's beautiful duality. Urban western outside, sentimental eastern inside. Hoyan Mok, Miss Hong Kong. Miss Hungary is Sylvia Forian. Sylvia is no gypsy by an expert. She is a plastical cosmetician back home in Budapest. But in her spare time, she also uses her statuous height of 5 feet 11 
on the basketball court. She enjoys shooting hoops with her friends. Say hello to Sylvia Porian, Miss Hungary. Miss Iceland is Svala Bjork Arnadottir. Don't let her country's name fool you, Svala Warren. On the contrary, Icelanders are very passionate. Like her boyfriend, who's even flying over to Manila to be with her. Svala is most romantic when she's in Blue Lagoon, her bed as Iceland's most beautiful spot. Svala Bjork Arnadottir as Miss Iceland. Miss India is Sushmita Sen. At 18 years of age, Sushmita is the youngest Miss India ever. Beauty to her is God's handwriting, and her ultimate aim is to be a saint. No, not the common or literal sense, but someone who makes goodness look attractive. Fashion model, newscaster, an emotional poet that's Miss India Sushmita Sen. Miss Ireland is Pamela Flood. Pamela is a crossword puzzle and sci-fi story fan. But that addiction does not come close to the barrels and barrels of popcorn she shares with her family. When she describes her family, she says they're just a gang of jokers. Her love of laughter will come handy with her chosen career, TV and public relations. Welcome, Pamela Flood, Miss Ireland. Miss Israel is Rabbit Yarkoni. Rabbit describes Israel as a land full of antiquity, holy places, and a cradle to all religions of the world. 21-year-old Rabbit finished her military service less than a year ago and is raring to be an international model. Her heroes range from Golda Meir to Tom Cruise. That's Rabbit Yarkoni, Miss Israel. Miss Italy is Ariana David. For a beauty queen and aspiring model, she's a fan of Cindy Crawford and Julia Roberts. Ariana surprisingly defines beauty as something beyond the physical. In fact, intelligence and sweetness are her true measures. Ladies and gentlemen, Ariana David, Miss Italy. Miss Jamaica, Anjali Martin. Presenting Jamaica to the world is second nature to Anjali, who grew up in a resort town, Montego Bay, and is well versed with Jamaica's international pride, Bob Marley's reggae. Nothing can keep her cool. Once in a modeling stint, a, a button from her blouse popped off, but she saved the scene by tying it up, Caribbean style. Anjali Martin, Miss Jamaica. Okay, that's your last. Miss Japan, Chiaki Kawahito. A determined and independent woman, Chiaki intends to take a job in international cultural exchange. For starters, Chiaki thanks the Filipinos for making nata de coco a famous delicacy. Her lucky charm is a penny from a German friend. Her idols are Michael Jordan and John Steinbeck. Ladies and gentlemen, Chiaki Kawahito, Miss Japan. Well, 
Aren't they beautiful? Give them all a round of applause. Come on. We are only halfway through with the Turner Parade. There's more, lots more beautiful girls right here in Miss Universe, Mabuhai. You know it's sheer heaven for us to be watching all these beautiful girls. But wait till you go backstage or watch the rehearsal. You'll find out that putting up a show as big as the Miss Universe is hard, hard work. And with us tonight is one of the driving forces of the Miss Universe pageant, the Vice President of Legal Affairs, Miss Gail Rosenblum. Hello, good evening. Hey, how are you? I'm okay. And um, with barely two weeks to go till the finals, how are the preparations coming along? Well, everyone's working hard and we're on schedule. Really? Oh, that's nice to know. And um, what, you know, you've been here for seven days, right? And how do you find the Philippines so far? What do you find no noticeable about the Philippines? What's most wonderful to me are the people and the warmth and the hospitality, which is just incredible for all of us here. Wow naman, kita nyo, tayo daw mga tao, lagi daw tayo nakasmile. And um, the Miss Universe has been running for 40 years now. What makes it so prestigious? What is the magic behind the Miss Universe? Well, I think it's a combination of things, but I think the most obvious factor is the caliber of the women who participate in our pageants, who are as intelligent and hardworking and ambitious as they are beautiful. Okay, thank you very much, Gail. So, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from Gail herself. Sabi nga nila sa TV, labing apat na tulog na lang, Miss Universe na. Pero siguradong ang susunod panggising upon the return of the 1994 Miss Universe Mabuhay. Woo, woo, woo. You know, rehearsing, preparing for Miss Universe mm -hmm. 1994 has really... It's, it hit me in a soft area. Na-touch ka. Yeah, na-touch ako. You know, kulang sa'yo yung sash lang. Kid. Feeling sash. ko nga eh. Kanina mm. nga, I was telling them I practiced the wave. How about anyway? Very good. Miss ABS TVN. Come on. Eh. Get that sash ready for the end of the show. No, really. <laughs> to, to be here in the last few days working very hard with all that, with the staff and everybody, I've realized how small the world really is. You know, right now, you're right, huh? Because mm -hmm. right now it feels that there are less and less barriers between the nations. Tsaka, syempre, ito for sure alam ko, lahat yata ng bansa sa mundo ay nakakaintindi at napapasayaw dun sa tunog ng hip-hop. That's right, hip-hop. But the rest of the world may not yet be too familiar with Filipino hip-hop. Hip-hop Pinoy style with, of course, John Gibbs and the Maneuvers. Ogie Alcatid, the Guapings, and Street Boys. Michael V, Claudine Barreto, Charmaine Arnaiz. Bing Loizaga and the male attraction. Not over yet. Ding Dong, Abadzado, Jennifer, Jennifer Sevilla, Donita Rose, Ami Perez, ex people. Roderick Paulate, Gio Alvarez, mm -hmm. Luigi Alvarez, Gila Alvarez, Victorinary, Jason San Pedro, Jan Marini, Alana, Rica Paralejo, Jane Galeta, Erica Fife, Rosel Na Nava, Camille Pratt, John Pratt, Tom Taus, Paula Paralejo. T.J. Cruz, Mahaba Papo, Katia Santos, Christopher Peralta, Rebecca Costales, Paolo Contis, Patrick Garcia. If your children at home are missing, they're in this medley. Hip-hop, Pinoy style. Come on, break it down. hip-hop <laughs> Okay, watching all those beautiful girls, nakakalula isipin kung gano sila kahirap alagaan. And one who has dated a beautiful girl knows kung gano sila karaming kapricho sa katawan, kung gano sila kapihikan, at kung gano sila kaselan. Imagine, lahat ng ganyang klaseng pag-aasika, so times 77, and it's a job that can only be done by the Miss Universe team. Anong klaseng pag-aalaga ang ginagawa sa ating 1994 Miss Universe delegates? Ganito. Our delegates are the stars of our show. Without the delegates, there is no reason for us to be here. So, we make sure that they're happy. I accompany the girls 24 hours a day. Once they step foot here, they're our responsibility. And we take care of all the scheduling of everything they do. Basically, every minute is planned out. One 
queen alone in a kingdom goes into a frenzy. Her majesty waves to the crowd, and the thrill of seeing her now is nothing short of a mania. In 1994, the island Philippines becomes a throne of 77 queens. A privilege for the country, but nonetheless a royal challenge, even before the first girl sets foot on the island. So we process all the information on each delegate before she arrives. She comes here, and then uh, we turn her over to the production team. We have an entire operations department, and we bring in over 160 freelance production people. The chaperones are the ones that actually do the grueling work of being with the girls every day, every night, and going to all the functions with them, making sure that all their needs are taken care of and met. That they maintain their schedule, and that they're able to relax and enjoy the whole experience of coming to a new place, meeting new people, and making new friends. Magandang umaga po. That warm Filipino greeting welcomes the delegates when they begin their daily activities in sunny Manila to prepare the girls for the hard day's work that lies ahead. We like them to have lots of fresh fruit, um, cereal for breakfast, pastries, bread, because that's pretty international. We go to each girl and ask if their dietary restrictions are. Yeah. We have a few that are vegetarian, so we like to have uh, salad bars. We try to keep low the fat content for these girls who are watching waistline. Part of the watch out is keeping these beauty queens looking like icons of glamour and pizzazz each time they step into the fitting room. It's trying to read when someone feels um, uncomfortable in something or they need extra boost, you know, about the way they look. They're, they're very concerned about every little thing. Can't blame them because all eyes are set on these girls. Wherever they go, they must reflect the beauty of the country that they represent. How much does it take? They told us that they need 15 hairdressers and 15 makeup artists for the main activity. We ended up with having something like 75 hairdressers and makeup artists. We have hundreds of swimsuits for the women to choose from. We uh, make available to them sunscreen so they don't have a sunburn and then peel. All over. The, uh, uh, the shoes uh, come from uh, Atlanta and Florida. Uh, the uh, swimsuits are by Janssen this year, and they're made in Portland, Oregon. Um, some of our prop stuff was done in Los Angeles, shawls and things. It, it just comes from all over. Make sure they don't get bug bites and things. I think we make sure everybody's got exactly what they need and that they're ready for the activity for that day. The day may be a photo and TV shoot or a charity affair, but always safety is the trickiest. Basically, the most important uh, aspect of the security of the candidates. We have already uh, addressed all precautionary measures here yeah, among the head of the security committee of Miss Universe. Crowd control is, is, is really touchy sometimes, and, and the way that I handle it is always keep smiling. And you remember that the safety of the crowd is just as important as the delegates. Foolproof safety for these delegates requires more than security, but making sure that Murphy's Law doesn't happen. We have a team of paramedics. We have an official uh, medical center, which is PGH. I don't think GH team will always be with the girls. There's an ambulance for us to be with the convoy. I uh, attend to the, their health care needs. And we have uh, two other chaperones that are registered nurses. A round-the-clock service fit for each delegate. From sunrise to sunset, mula magandang umaga hanggang magandang gabi, binibini, no one forgets that these queens are the stars of the show. People always think that there's a cloned beauty contestant and there's not no matter how many women you have they're all individuals and they all have to be dealt with differently uh, and that's probably the hardest part of the job Alagang Miss Universe that's a job for the experts but Island Philippines and Miss Universe Incorporated are experts they're in the business of making dreams come true weaving wonderful memories so that all queens can go back to their homelands with fairy tales to tell of their glorious Miss Universe experience and a lifelong love for the land of Mabuhay. Coming up next, yung mga inaalagaan nilang Miss Universe delegates sa pagbabalik ng Miss Universe Mabuhay. <laughs> Sa 
setting the stage for more beauty with the beauty of Jenna Fernandez Marimba playing for Miss Korea. Miss Korea is Sun Young Kum, an embodiment of oriental mysticism. When the time comes for her to marry, she plans to consult a fortune teller. Curiously, Sun Young idolizes a patently non-traditional celebrity, Sharon Stone, and dreams of a high-profile advertising agency. led V to various pursuits, modern ballet, modeling, poetry, fashion designing, and sitar playing. The youngest and the only unmarried of four daughters, V now hangs around the house with her many cats and dogs. Fabiola in many forms, teaching piano, watching Gone with the Wind, and whipping up her trademark enchiladas. During Christmas, her clan holds a volleyball tournament where, strangely, the winner gets to prepare their Christmas dinner. What a price. Miss Mexico. Miss Namibia. Barbara Cajachipara. It's hard to imagine graceful Barbara was once a tomboy. To counter this, her mother led her into a successful career in modeling. Winning the local pageant has made her a celebrity. The Namibian president named her together with 1992 Miss Universe Michelle McLean as Namibia's top achiever. Barbara Cajachipara, Miss Namibia. Miss Netherlands, represented by Irene van der Laar. An international model who wants to try news casting, which she can conduct in four languages. Dutch, English, French, and German. Adventurous in nature, she even applied for a position in the military police. That's our very versatile Irene Van Delar, Miss Netherlands. Typical. 
Miracle New Zealander. She is an olive skin standout, a result of her Samoan, English, and German descent. In fact, people always ask her if she's a Filipina. Flamboyant Nicola thinks that Anthony Hopkins would be an interesting guest at a dinner party. Nicola Brighton, Miss New Zealand. Miss Nigeria is 18-year-old Susan Hart. A physics major who intends to specialize in computers, Susan feels at home here because, she says, Filipinos are as warm, appreciative, and down-to-earth as Nigerians. Her country boasts of hundreds of languages, of which she has mastered one. The Igbo. That's Susan Hart, Miss Nigeria. Miss Northern Marianas is Elizabeth Tomokani. Her family name reveals her Japanese ancestry. But Elizabeth feels she is no less than a genuine Chamorro, as charming and petite as her 14 island country. Elizabeth wishes to preserve traditional Chamorro culture, one of which is her local fiesta, where guests are welcome to take a plate home. Elizabeth Tomokani, Miss Northern Mariana. Miss Norway, Caroline Sattler. which she gets a lot of in mountain climbing and reading Stephen King books. This Norwegian charmer gives high regard to honesty, which she'll put into good use when she goes into hard-nosed retail business, her dream profession. Caroline Satre, Miss Norway. Maria Sofia Velasquez. An economics and international affairs student, Sofia dreams of joining the UN someday. In the meantime, she is happy just watching European cinema, which she finds stylish. She recommends a Panamanian wedding wherein they build clay houses for honeymooners plus a wedding party that lasts a week. Calculus, Liliana aims for the top, bank presidency no less. She is fascinated by native cowboy hombres in their fiesta, just as much as she is with Bruce Willis and Demi Moore. She'll say yes to a movie with Bruce, provided the script is in Guarani, her native tongue. Liliana Gonzalez Mena, Miss Paraguay. Miss Peru, Karina Kalmet. Peru boasts of Machu Picchu as its oldest attraction, but it's Karina who is an instant spectacle, having been crowned Miss Peru only three weeks ago. Karina is a graphic designer by trade with a passion for the long jump. Karina Comet, Miss Peru. Miss Philippines. 19-year-old Charlene Gonzalez from the famed Bonin clan of Philippine cinema. Charlene wants to 
juggle movie acting with a future career in surgery. Charlene considers her country as her boyfriend because her time now is devoted to the Philippines. She said her birthday last May 1 was her most memorable because she celebrated it with her co-delegate. Charlene Gonzalez, Miss Philippines. choreographer but opted to take economics instead because she wanted to improve the banks in her country. Her idea of a good film is basic instinct because of her penchant for psychology. Miss Poland. Miss Portugal, Monica Borges Pereira. Monica is an industrial psychology student. Monica converses in Portuguese, English, and Afrikaans, but promised to learn more. She finds Asian women more serene compared to those passionate Latin ladies. To all men smitten by Monica's red hair and green eyes, wait a while. She plans to marry in 1999. Monica Borges Pereira, Miss Portugal. Miss Puerto Rico, Brenda Robles. Brenda may not be like her cousin, who is the only woman in Puerto Rico who climbs electric pole, but Brenda soars high, spiking volleyball, and yes, piloting airplanes. A first sergeant in the United States Army, a professional model, and a parachutist, Brenda also has her sights set on becoming an astronaut for NASA. Brenda Robles, Miss Puerto Rico. in Kujang, a 3,000-year-old musical instrument, but she also goes for computer games and bridge. In joining the Miss Universe, Joanna had to live behind her two closest friends, Toto, her dog, and Yaya, her cat. fashion design. Her arts and design course was determined by one event, when she received her first artist award at age nine. An artist in the works, Paola Camiglieri, Miss Republic of Malta. Wag po kayo magalala dahil mahaba pa po ang parada at marami pa po sa pinakamagagandang babae sa balat ng lupa ang ating makikita. Kaya dyan lang po kayo at babalik kami. Wait a minute, what's so strange about tonight? 
Did you know that in 1974, 20 years ago, here in the Philippines was where they held Miss Universe? Yes. You know this. But did you know that in 1974 was the same year that our reigning Miss Universe was born? Oh, no. Which means that during our last Miss Universe here in the Philippines, she was just being born. Oh. Strange but true. Very strange. Why don't we get to know her, the Lady Crown Miss Universe last year in Mexico? Dianara is a queen for only a year, too short by any standard, but still a fortune too rare for most of us to ever attain. In fact, so rare that even in her home country of Puerto Rico, the Miss Universe crown was worn only twice before, with Marisol Malaret in 1970 and Debra Dew in 1985. The third Puerto Rican Miss Universe is also the pageant's youngest ever at age 18, but Dianara attributes her victory to neither youth nor beauty, but luck. I was walking in the street and a man saw me and he asked me why you don't participate in Miss Puerto Rico and that was like everything start. For Dianara, the start happened for the outskirts of Puerto Rico in a small town called To Alta. Being a beauty queen, that was a dream that I had when I was a little girl. But um, because of the situation, uh, the economical situation of my family, I couldn't do it. When I was a little girl, I was very, very shy. I don't want to, I, I, I was, I, I didn't talk with people. I didn't smile just because of my teeth. I have a big problem in my teeth. And because of my family doesn't have the money, I have to stay with my treatment a long, long time. Many, many years. So finally, when I, when I uh, had a job, I um, paid for my treatment and I finished it. But underneath shy Dianara was a very fiery Latin fighter who transcended her roots. Dianara soon became a model and was selected as Lancome's most beautiful face. Although none of her earlier successes could have prepared her for that moment in Mexico in May 1993. That was a very special moment. I was very happy, very happy, and um, I was very surprised. There are five to go, Miss Puerto Rico. Right favorite in the preliminary competition, and that should give her confidence tonight. It was a very special moment that I'm never going to forget. Why did you uh, elect dentistry? Well, uh, when I was a little girl, I always liked to be a dentist, and I had braces. And I think that is the, the most important thing um, because I know that some people think that it's aesthetic, but I think it's not aesthetic because um, have another problem like um, pains and everything. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to show to the people that uh, good health or a health is a very important thing. We thank you so very much for being with us. Thank you, Senor. I never tried to think that I'm going to win. The first runner-up is Miss Columbia, Miss Universe, is Miss Puerto Rico! I just remember people just um, screaming, um, crying, so it takes me very, uh, like, a big surprise. Queen Dianara predictably received a hero's welcome in Puerto Rico, but back in To Alta, she's still Diari. Just a nickname, uh, maybe because Dianara was too long. <laughs> They would meet Daddy. Miss Universe uh, is, is a title that um, I really work with it, and um, I use it to work with people. And but in my in my family, in my house, I'm the same Dianara. For Dianara, the Philippines is good enough for a second home. As a matter of fact, I feel like in my house because people are very friendly and make you feel like in home, um, very kind, very gentleman. I went to the Philippines in October and I had my birthday here and I had a lot of fun here. And I was also in Thailand, Malaysia, Japan for Puerto Rico tourism, um, Paraguay, Uruguay, Argentina, Brazil, Mexico three times, Puerto Rico nine times and again in the Philippines. I think the, 
the traveling and meet with the people and talk with the people and being in many, many countries, different, different than yours, um, give you a lot of experiences. Being Miss Universe gave me the opportunity to work, to travel around the world and I'm not only promoting my country, I also am um, working for poor people. So I have a lot of personal appearances, and, but most of the time I'm working with UNICEF and uh, raising money for poor children and poor families. Also raising money in the States for people, Latin people that really need the money. Um, we, we also work with American Cancer Society. Being Miss Universe, it was a great opportunity um, for, for my country and I really enjoy everything that I did. It's something that I'm always going to treasure, like a very important thing in my life. One magic year as Miss Universe is too soon to give up, but Dianara has other dreams ready. I'm going to continue after I um, give up my crown. I'm going to continue doing that because I really enjoy it. I really enjoy uh, working with the children, with people, raising money. Um, I enjoyed a lot. I had a lot of fun. And to that very special girl soon to wear Dianara's crown. I wish them, the new Miss Universe, to, to have a great uh, uh, and fun year. It's a lot of work, but um, she's going to really enjoy it. Puerto Rico's Dianara Torres, Miss Universe 1993. <laughs>
I think they enjoyed that more than everybody else here. I think so too. We saved the best for last for Diana Torres, Aga Mulak, and Mr. Richard Gomez. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nakita na kaya natin ang susunod na Miss Universe kay Diana o makikita pa lang sa susunod nating mga delegates. Coming right up is the last chance to see the final set of delegates of the world's beauties when we return here in Miss Universe Pageant 1994. 1994. We are back with Jay Kayukas Harana with the violin and we're back with more Miss Universe 1994. Join me now as we welcome the last set of delegates, starting with Miss Romania. Miss Romania is Miss Mihaela Cholacu. Mihaela reveals that women's lives have radically improved after the Romanian Revolution. Some things haven't been changed though, like the custom of offering bread and salt to guests, and the love of Romanians for gymnastics. Her personal convictions is that boyfriends only cause trouble. That's a very single Mihaila Cholacu, Miss Romania. Miss Russia is Ina Zobofa. Grounded in Bangkok on her way to Manila, Ina remained unfazed and pulled through in time for the pageant. You can always tell if Ina is in love if you see her writing poems. That's the sign. Aside from sculpting snow, Ina finds pleasure in nibbling black caviar with fresh cucumbers. That's Ina Zobofa, Miss Russia. Pauline Sun. An English major, Pauline is literally a lover of words. This must be why she carries a dictionary wherever she goes. Suspense thrillers account for the 100 books a year she reads. But when not leaping through the pages of her Stephen King, she attends to her development managing career and their family baking business. Pauline Sun, Miss Singapore. Miss Slovak Republic is Sylvia Lakatosova. Sylvia has already published a book about her work as a model and a dancer in Milan. 
Slovaks are wearing clothes now from her fashion collection, Sylvia L. Dancer, writer, clothes designer, and incidentally, today is her birthday. Happy, happy birthday to Miss Slovak Republic, Sylvia Lakatostova. Raquel loves mixing around, not with men, but mixing chemicals, for she dreams of becoming a chemist one day. Given the chance, this Madrilena would like to meet Mother Teresa. Raquel had an old-fashioned boyfriend, but he broke up with her after she won Miss Spain. Raquel may be heartbroken, but there's not a trace on that lovely face. Raquel Rodriguez, Miss Spain. Miss Sri Lanka is Nushara Fernando. Being famous must run in Nushara's blood. Her colorful family includes a parliament member, a Baptist hymn composer, and a sister who's a local star search champ. A professional model, Nushara is presently taking a correspondence course in fashion merchandising in the United States. Nushara Fernando, Miss Sri Lanka. Miss Swaziland, Nicola Smith. Nicola is a visual merchandising student and would like to train as a beauty technologist. Her vocation in life, living clean, indulging in horseback riding and hockey. Nicola consider, considers her family to be her best friend. And her dream for the world, quality education for all underprivileged children. Nicola Smith, Miss Swaziland. Miss Sweden. Miss Sweden, Dominique Forsberg boasts that her mother is the first woman to fly a commercial helicopter in Scandinavia. As for herself, Dominique flies high in public relations promoting Lapland, Sweden's snowy green. Her best childhood memories are building caves in the snow, riding snowmobiles, and ice skating on the streets. The very cool Dominique Forsberg, Miss Sweden. Miss Switzerland, Patricia Fessler. Patricia's lift figure is a product of many years of ballet in which she started training at the age of three. As an only child, Patricia warms up easily to people from her two adopted siblings to her only Pinoy friend, Rufa. Patricia is studying to become a pediatrician. In the meantime, she hopes to be the first Swiss Miss Universe. That's Patricia Fessler, Miss Switzerland. Miss Thailand is Aria Chumsai. This future journalist spent 18 years of her life in Michigan, Madonna's hometown. But Aria prefers Enya over the material girl. And although the famous Thai dishes remain in the Chumsai dining table, pizza is just as tempting for Aria. After dinner, a good book in bed or a session with a computer occupies her time. Ladies and gentlemen, Aria Chumsai, Miss Thailand. Miss Trinidad and Tobago, Lorca Chelsea Gatcliffe.
Hailing from the country of the first black Miss Universe, Lorca Chelsea is a degree holder in chemistry and now lends expertise as a computer analyst. Bigger plans include joining the World Health Organization in its fight against cancer. That's Lorca Chelsea Gutcliffe, Miss Trinidad and Tobago. Miss Turkey is Banu Usler, a tourism student in Germany who dreams of owning a holiday village all her own. Banu has a knack for getting into the unusual, swimming in freezing December, laughing for no reason at all, and one time entering the men's room by accident. Her lucky charm is an evil eye bead. Let's see if it works for Banu Usler, Miss Turkey. Miss Uruguay is Leonora Di Bueno. Leonora is one of the, the drastic changes. She's one who loves drastic changes. She once trained as a swimmer for three years worked as a marketing consultant last year, but now attends to her national title full-time. Leonora raves about Manila's warmth, literally the weather, and figuratively the people. A warm mabuhay for Leonora Di Bueno, Miss Uruguay. Miss USA is Frances Louise Parker. A master's degree in English literature and an executive director of a youth recovery program called HATS, or Helping All Teens Survive. Lou, or Gump, as her father calls her, savors hor horseback riding in Southern Carolina or backpacking across Europe. Louise Parker, Miss USA. Miss Venezuela is Minorca Mercado. Minorca is an attacker in the Venezuela volleyball team. At a towering six foot two, Minorca says she doesn't mind having a shorter boyfriend. Just as long as the guy is willing to face her grandfather, who is nearly seven feet tall. Ladies and gentlemen, Minorca Mercado, Miss Venezuela. is Yvette Dalmeira Chakra. A model since 10, Yvette plans to go into advertising with Zimbabwe as her first client. She is very proud of her country's return to the spotlight after a long absence from the Miss Universe. A skilled communicator, Yvette also campaigns for understanding of AIDS. Yvette Dalmeira Chakra, Miss Zimbabwe. This is, of course, the 77 most beautiful women in the world, the complete set of delegates for our Miss Universe pageant, 1994. But nowhere are we near letting go of the excitement. More of Miss Universe Mabuhai when we come back. Noy, I'm sure may mga pambato na kayo, pero tingnan natin kung ang taste nyo, taste din ng mga judges.
skin or, or, or the way she carries herself like royalty. Which is it, honey? Well, as a Miss Universe titleist, it's the sum of all parts, of course. Mm -hmm. But for our special awards tonight, we are looking for a, a special outstanding quality in a lady. That's right. We're gonna, are we going to do that right now? Is I this the time? I think we're going to do that right now. Because, yes, like our first, we are going to give away our first special awards in celebration of two new breakthrough products. And that's the Ivory Ultra Mild Shampoo and Conditioner. Now, we're going to be crowning two ladies as Miss Ivory Ultra Mild. And the ladies who will win this are those who embody the ivory image, which is beautiful, smart, uh, responsible, uh, with a glorious crown of hair and a personality that's fresh and light. A trophy plus fine jewelry worth $1,000 await each of our two winners. Now. Another outstanding quality worth a special award is a Philippine terno. And this will be given to the girl who wears our Philippine terno with stage projection, grace, and a great overall impact. The best in Philippine terno and her court get trophies as well as cash prizes. Now listen. Okay. $200 for the second runner-up, wow. $300 for the, for the first runner-up, and $500 for best in Philippine Terno. Wow. Courtesy of Santa Lucia East Shopping Center, plus they get 10,000 pesos worth of gift items courtesy of Sari Sari Store. Wow, that's great. It gets more and more exciting as we enter the Philippine Terno category. But you know what? What? I think I know what's on everybody's mind. I can read their mind, eh? Okay. Sinasabi nila, siyempre dapat si Miss Philippine Charlene Gonzalez ang manalo sa best in Philippine terno, no? That's diba? right. Well, as a delegate of the host country, and because she is a graceful Filipina, mm -hmm. Charlene is not competing in the best in that's Philippine right. terno. No? Instead, <laughs> that's right. Instead, she will present the top terno award. Mm -hmm. And incidentally also, mm -hmm. Ino Soto, our very own Mr. Ino Soto, is abstaining from judging, of course, for that's the best right. in the Philippine Terno. He will just also present the top award. I think they deserve a round of applause. I think that's great. Thank you so much for your courtesy. The tabulation for the best in Terno is undertaken by our official auditor, Sisip Goris Velayo and company. The seal of accuracy. Can we please ask Mr. Mario Aguas for the envelope, please, as we await to see who wins our very as first special Mr. award. Mr. Mario Aguas walks up on stage to hand us the envelope of the winners. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Aguas. And the wait is over. Let's start off with our special awards. Special awards, Muna. Before this, no, guys? Let's Before say this. that, yes. A twin bill, the two ladies to be given the Miss Ivory Ultra Mild Award. Miss Ivory Ultra Mild goes to, drum roll please, Miss Belgium, Christelle Roiland, and Miss Philippine, Charlene Gonzalez, our two, Miss Ivory Ultra Mild, Miss Belgium, and presenting the award, our Procter & Gamble's category manager for beauty care, Mr. Cito Alejandro, and, and, and of course, the new Ivor Ultra Mild Shampoo and Conditioner Brand Manager, Miss Christine Anko. Congratulations to Miss Belgium and Miss Philippines. And there they go to receive the rewards from Procter & Gamble, Miss Ivory Ultra Mild. All right. There they go. As they are being awarded. It gets more and more exciting, folks. There you go. Let's give them a round of applause. A special award. Congratulations. We are right now about to announce the second runner-up in the Best in Philippine Terno Award. Our second runner-up. In the best in Philippine Terno is Miss Mexico. Fabiola Perez Rovirosa. Miss Mexico, second runner up. And to present Miss Mexico the award, members of tonight's Board of Judges, Miss Cristina Carlos and Mr. Ino Soto. Congratulations to Miss Mexico, our second runner up and the best in Philippine chairman. The next in 
line, of course, is the first runner-up in the Best in Philippine Terno Award. Our first runner-up in the Best in Philippine Terno is... Miss Lovac Republic, Silvia Lakatosopa. Silvia Lakatosopa, the Slovak Republic. Happy birthday to you. You are first runner-up. And presenting Miss Slovak Republic, the award are Miss Barbara Perez and Mayor Alfredo Lin. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Our first runner-up in the best in Philippine Terno. Now the moment's climax. The best in Philippine Terno Award. Are you Can ready? Can I please borrow the envelope? You may, sweetheart. And the best in Philippine Terno Award is Miss Venezuela, Minorca Mercado. Miss Venezuela, the best in Philippine Terno. Presenting, presenting the award for the best.